Go back to lobby. Oh wow, Shadowburn. That. Oh my. I think he was expecting that was to go back sexy. to lobby or what? But I don't know. He's just gone in and wrecked them. Well, you, you don't. You can't really go back to lobby because they've already had yeah. first contact. I know. And actually, to be fair, it was Midland that said no. We can't. It was yeah. Midland, his own team, taking the higher seed. They could even go further and qualify directly into the final, get the highest seed, as they're now into the finals for today for the European Overwatch Open qualifier number four. And we saw this play time and time again, but this was one of the nicer ones from... It was a good initial hold there from the sign of Chile, but here comes Shadowburn with the Dragon Blade. It's going to be an Earth Shatter coming in as well. He's going to be able to pick up three, make it four, and that is just a disaster for Chile as they all fall. That's actually caused a problem because now he didn't get the DPS down. Shadowburn's going wild. Meanwhile, at the backside, oh! gets a quick deflection into Taimu's face. Mafu just left alone. He's going to get desuited, take it down. The Blizzard comes through. They will be picking up the round, and it's going to have around about 40 seconds left on the time back. Not a bad time in Indeed. Off his high tower and back away again, being caught out of position. Trying to dash towards Hayko and get back to the rest of his team, but he needs to get the payload now. Dragon Blade in, he gets the Nano Blade going there as well, and this might be enough, and it should be enough for Faze to hold right at the deck. Oh my goodness, that was a beautiful movement move coming in from Shadowburn, using the ledge dash to get all the way over in a situation where he was completely outgunned, bought enough time, put himself in the best position possible. 
T9, they're being pretty aggro. Uh, they, you, you, you need to be careful here, though. Respawns are going to be up here for the offensive moment. Here comes Grouts on Surge, pulls in three people. Shadowbird God. with the follow through, takes out four on the Dragon Blade, makes it a 5k. Will he have the 6k? He does. That was a full team kill by Shadowbird. Shame them to stop, shut that down early as Shadowburn looking to set up a Dragon Blade. Here comes Dragon Blade. He's going right in. Takes out one right away. Gets two. Who needs eight seconds anyways to Shadowburn? A three, 4K for Shadowburn. Genji is not quite ripped yet. They are well armed. They come right back in. And Shadowburn should be pulling out the Dragon Blade right here, right now. Oh, and Shadowburn is going to town. He's just dicing through the opponents. He's able to pick up four there, has some teammates there. They're going to finish them off, but doing a lot of damage there with the Dragon Blade. They're trying to hunt Seagull down. They were able to take him out finally. <laughs> oh, that is just so filthy there. Shadowburn, of course, you always have to be cautious about him, but Aethan with the Transcendence, keeping everyone alive. Now we're in overtime. 99, 99. Who is going to come out on top of the Dragon Blade? He's going down and takes Criminality first. He takes three kills. He was so patient with that, outweighting the Transcendence, which was on the point. Shadowburn busts out the Dragon Blade, takes down three. It's enough for his team to get in here. It's hard to say who's coming out ahead right now, because right now, FaZe kind of needs some of those big ults, like on Fact Fiction or Soms, and they're still away from having oh. them, so they could lose just the control ults. But oh my the God. Dragon Blade coming out. He's going to slice and dice oh my God. and Fact Fiction helping out. Did you see that? That, I, I, I'm not crazy. Winds deflected the Graviton Surge. Those are gonna be strong. Maybe they are strong, but with the addition of Puppy, aka Tvik, to the G2 roster for today, it just seems like they brought it to another level, Hex. Yeah, an extremely impressive play. Mostly just the, the offensive classes, the frag classes, just absolutely cleaning up. Dragonblade on the way, looking for that kill. Gonna run into a Deadeye. Oh, he gets the deflect! The double kill from Seagull! Trying to keep up alive here for LG. It's four kills for LG right now. Seagull makes it a triple in the end. And that is exactly what they needed. Reaver shot a little bit too early. Dragonblade ready and waiting to go. He's gonna drop down oh, and quickly God. deflects it back in Icefeld's face. Thank you very much. That's an easy kill. And now that's a problem for Germany because they lose one of their key damage dealers. And now the Dragonblade is off. He goes in. He finds Ruster. Can he get himself a second? Finds RTA. Goes in looking for Internet Hulk. He takes him down. And Skipjack, the final man standing, takes a shuriken to the forehead. And down he goes. The United States will roll on. It's a completely different environment from solo queue compared to playing in an actual match. I'd say over on the US side, they got a little bit more lucky in terms of who got voted in.